Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Clinical Welcome Institute of P.K. Prabhakar. Today we are going to see the difference between the primary database and the secondary database which normally we are using in the bioinformatics uh, and some other uh, places uh, in the biological system. So uh, first let us understand what is the database and then we will go for the differences. So uh, what are databases? Uh, database literally means it is a structured collection of the biological information. Uh, which is organized to allow very easy access in the desired manner. So whenever we want to retrieve, we will want a, a specific type of information. Uh, so that a specific type of information as per the desired uh, query, uh, we will get it from the data databases, from the source that is called the biological databases. So the actual definition is uh, it is a structured collection of biological data that is organized to allow easy retrieval, management and analysis of biological information. So uh, these are the databases consisting of biological data like protein sequencing, molecular structure, DNA sequences and some other forms of information. Normally uh, these are essential for the sorting, uh, for storing, analyzing and interpretation of the very huge amount of data. Uh, initially, uh, when we don't have a system, uh, yeah, almost uh, very large data sets you cannot write on the paper. So that time normally we normally require some online tools, and that tools uh, is a database, and we are going to use in the biological system in the form of genomics, where we are talking about the DNA, RNA, then proteomics, then metabolomics, you number of different kind of genomics. We, uh, omics we are having. So later on we will have uh, a separate video on the different omics. Normally these databases support a variety of biological research applications uh, from the sequence alignments, comparisons, structural predictions, gene annotations, pathway analysis, uh, parental analysis, uh, you can call the uh, ancestral analysis, uh, family history analysis. So different type of information, different type of uh, analysis we are doing and different type of information we are getting it. So these are the fundamental tools for the bioinformatics for advancing uh, scientific research, understanding, facilitating and new discovery in the molecular biology medicines. Uh, several computer tools are the, there to manipulate these biological data uh, like to update, delete or insert and scientists and researchers from all over the world normally enter their experimental data and results into the biological databases. So that it is available to a wider audience or for all the uh, you know, audiences uh, who can have the access of internet. Normally these biological databases are normal free to use and contain a huge collection of variety of biological database information. So what are the uh, applications, what are the uses? So if you will say there are two broad category of databases we are having, we are having a third category also that we will see in the last. Otherwise so generally we are having two broad categories that is called the primary database and the secondary database. So what is the primary database? Normally the it contains the raw experimental generated data, the whatever data you generate through the experiment and that, that data raw data we submit directly to the uh, database. So that is called like the database which contains the raw data from the experimentally generated data are called as primary databases. So it can also be called as archival databases since it archives the experimental results uh, submitted by the scientists. The primary database normally it is populated with the experimentally derived data like genome sequences, macromolecular structures, the data entered here remains uncurated, no modifications uh, and performed over the data. It contains a unique set of data unit data obtained from the laboratory and these data are made accessible to the normal users without any changes. Some of the examples are uh, like DNA sequence, protein sequence, 3D structure, biomolecules. At the same time, we are having a secondary database. These are normally information derived from the primary databases. So whatever information is available onto the primary databases, so the information or after the analysis of the data available onto the primary databases, uh, the second database is going to be formed. So uh, the data which is available on the primary data that will be analyzed, processed, interpreted and then annotated and then we are going to get the secondary databases. So if you will say uh, some of the example of the primary database are the gene bank uh, that is a database of nucleotide sequences and the protein translations. Same, same we are having PDB protein data bank uh, that is one of the largest repository for the protein information. 
uh, repository for 3D structured data, uh, large biological molecules, EMBL, European Molecular Biology Laboratory Database. Again, this is uh, the database for the nuclear tight sequences. Secondary database, we are having like PFAM, Uniprot, ProSites. These are the normally protein family and protein uh, in, information databases. Now, if you see the uh, secondary databases, the data normally stores these databases are the analyzed results of the primary databases and computational algorithms are going to be applied for the primary databases and meaningful and informative information data is stored inside the second databases. A secondary database is better and contains more valuable information compared to the primary databases. Uh, third category is called as the composite databases. The data which entered into these composite databases types are first compared and then filtered based on the desired criteria. The initial data are taken from the primary database and then they are merged to, uh, together based on the certain conditions. So these composite databases normally helps in the searching sequences rapidly. And these are non-redundant data. Some of the examples of the composite or third category of data is OWL, NRD, SwissProt, Trembles. So these are the different category of different types of databases we are having. Now if you see the comparison of primary database and secondary database, we are having a certain specific criteria. And then we will talk about those uh, details. The first is definition and purpose. If you see the primary database, they normally stores raw unprocessed data directly derived from the experimental research. These database contains original sequences, original structures and other uh, forms of data that are unprocessed, unmodified raw forms. Secondary databases normally it contains processed and curated information derived from the primary databases and it includes a better information. It is normally including the functional annotations, interpretations and prediction based on the primary data. Second point is which type of data it contains. So primary database normally holds, a, 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 contains the unprocessed experimentally derived data such as nucleotide or protein sequences, gene expression and protein structures. Like examples are the DNA and RNA sequences from the gene sequences experiments and 3D coordinates of the protein uh, structures. Secondary database, they normally stores the information that are, has been after we are getting from the analysis, organizations and interpretation of the primary databases. So they are processed and curated data. Uh, it includes the protein families, protein functions, protein domains and some other type of information. The examples of the primary and secondary databases are, uh, I have already given you gene bank, EMBL and protein data bank. The, these are the primary databases. Uh, PFAM, uh, Interpro, SwissProt, these are the second databases information which normally for the protein family and protein functional databases. Uh, uh, then uh, which type of data processing is going to happen in the primary and second databases? Uh, primary database normally it is the minimally processed and uh, raw forms of data. It of, uh, often it is a raw and slightly standardized forms. Uh, second databases normally they are the processed, curated and organized databases. So they are having the better information, more information compared to the primary databases. Because the second databases normally we analyze and then we uh, obtain the information. Uh, reliability in the data accuracy, if you see the primary database, the primary database may contain some errors and the redundancies because it is directly submitted by the researchers. Uh, the quality and the accuracy largely depends on the original experimental sources and how experiment has been processed and how data has been generated. If you see the secondary databases, this is curated by the exports and reviewed through computational methods uh, through different kind of algorithm which uh, normally reduces the redundancy and improves the reliability. So it will have a less redundant data, less and more accurate data in case of secondary databases. Uh, update frequency, if you'll say primary databases, normally it's up, up, updated fr uh, frequently, often in the real time as it, new experimental data is going to be generated and it will be uploaded by those researchers worldwide. Secondary databases, normally it updates less frequently since data requires processing annotations and the expert review before it will be added to the so databases. So secondary databases updates frequency is less compared to the primary databases because it requires the processing and the analysis. Uh, what are the different uses of primary database and secondary database in the research? A primary database normally it is used when researchers needs raw unprocessed experimental data for the primary analysis. 
like uh, when we conduct the de novo sequence alignments on the phylogenetic an uh, analysis. Secondary database is normally useful for the hypothesis generation, functional prediction, and the comparative studies. Uh, whenever we want to analyze, we want to study the proteins, functions, structures, structural activity correlations. Normally, that time secondary databases are better useful, and that is going to be used. Uh, if you see the relationship between the data, normally primary database lacks interconnection between the data entries, focusing on the storing in uh, individual piece of raw data. Secondary database are more correlated data, so it provides the interconnected data by group sequences into families, identifying the uh, conjunct motive. So there are some certain kind of specific correlations or a specific kind of sequences you can call it. Uh, so it, it, it secondary database contains interconnected data. Uh, dep on de depending on the different kind of criteria. Curation and annotations, if you will see primary database generally uncurated and lightly curated. It may include the minimal metadata like experimental methods, use sequences, uh, origin and the prime author information. Secondary database, normally it is extensively curated, formatted and uh, better analyzed, better processed data with functional annotation, structural prediction and classifications. The goal is to uh, give context and relevance to the data. So this is the summary of uh, the different kind of uh, differences between the primary and secondary databases. If you see primary database, it stores the raw experimental data, where it, uh, secondary database normally stores the processed and curated data. Uh, primary database contains original sequence and structures, uh, whereas secondary database contains functional annotation and interpretations. Examples I have already given you. Processing is minimal for in case of primary because it contains the raw data. Secondary database normally have the extensively processed and curated and annotated data. Uh, reliability because primary database can, it is a raw form of data, so it may contain error and redundancy, whereas secondary database have the reliability increases, improves because it is a curated and reviewed forms of data. The update frequency, frequent uh, primary database updated frequency is very huge because anyone can update at uh, whenever the uh, experimental data has been generated. Secondary database prime, uh, periodic updates are less. Uh, raw data analysis is done by primary databases and functional analysis comparative studies can be done by secondary databases. Uh, primary database, they don't have interconnections or a few or very less interconnections will be there. Secondary database will have extensive interconnections. And curation and annotations so minimal is in case of primary and secondary have heavily heavily interconnected. So this is the basic difference between the primary database, secondary database. I have already told you there is a third category of uh, databases that is called like composite data. But normally we are not using too much. This is classification on the basis of which type of data are going to be stored. We have separate uh, category classification of databases uh, depending on the which type of information it contains, like it contains the structural information or the functions. So we will have a structural databases, we will have functional databases. So that difference we will see later on. So hope you understand it. Uh, if you like the video, press the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe it. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.